welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about skincare. So I haven't done one in a while and I'll list my other ones down below for you guys. I thought it would be a good idea to do a beauty hacks video on how to get the perfect skin or how to get better skin, glowy skin, all that good stuff. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some hacks on how to get rid of pimples, blackheads, all that lovely stuff we have to deal with. Regardless of what your skin looks like, just remember you're beautiful. I have very sensitive skin and I want you to know regardless of your skin type, just know you're still so, so beautiful. So don't let anyone bring you down when it comes to your skin. And in general, don't let anyone bring you down because you are queen and you slay. In every single video, I've been doing the question of the day and today's question is gonna be random, but I'm curious to know what your favorite color is. Mine, as you guys can tell, is purple, but it's also blue. So I'm curious to know if we have the same favorite color. Leave a comment down below and I do my best to answer as many of you guys as I can. And like always in every single video, I do this thing where if you go over right now to my Instagram, you follow me and comment on my latest photo I will go spam you as long as your accounts are not private so make sure you're not private and your girl will go creep you because I am a creeper and we've all established that if you guys want more skincare videos a thumbs it up because I love doing these videos I think they're super interesting let's get into the video my first little tip or hack is the simplest but I thought I'd get it out there and get it over with and that is to constantly be washing your hands don't forget that your hands pick up a ton of bacteria so if you ever are caught touching your face and things like that then you're spreading the bacteria all over and that could lead to breaking and things that we do not want of course try not to touch your face a lot or try not to pick at it because that's super bad for you it's just gonna make you break out but once in a while you may see us sometimes touching our face it's just natural so make sure you are cleaning your hands ma making sure they are clean because you do not want all that gunk and bacteria to be spreading around everywhere all up in your grill <laughs> I'm going to share with you guys is a DIY pimple remover. So if you ever have a pimple or something like that and you need to get rid of it, I have a little DIY remedy. All you're going to need is some salt and as well as water. So you're going to put a little bit of water, just the tiniest bit into, into your salt and you're going to mix it together until it makes a paste. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to apply it onto just the pimple. Don't apply it all over your face, just the pimple. Let it sit there. I usually let it sit there for one hour before I remove it. But if you do have sensitive skin, I would suggest maybe letting it sit there for 10 minutes. And for some reason, I know that salt can be very drying, but I find that salt really does help my skin. Sometimes I even put some Epsom salts when I go take a bath because I just find it helps my body as well and my face clear. I don't know if that's just me, but that is something I like to do. And as well as I like to do kind of little DIY remedies when it comes to getting rid of acne and things like that or spot treatment because a lot of the times when you get the things from the drugstore stuff like that has a ton of chemicals in it so sometimes it is good to do some DIY remedies that you can get right from your kitchen and it's super affordable as well <laughs> moving on to hack number three and this is gonna gling yeah. the hack number three is a DIY facial scrub and it's gonna be a DIY exfoliant all you're gonna need is cut up half a lemon and then you're gonna put some honey and some sugar I would say put some brown sugar I ran out of brown sugar so I've used white sugar before but I typically like to use brown sugar and you're just gonna rub it all over your face it's gonna smooth out your skin it's gonna give you glowy skin and I find lemon does also reduce your acne scarring and brightens up your face so it's really gonna fade any acne scarring that you may have and I love this as a natural exfoliant of course you don't do this every single day I would say once a week once every two weeks something like that I like to do it once in a while to be completely honest and it's just gonna really brighten up your skin and I actually learned this little hack from some models I researched a model skincare hacks and these are some of the hacks that they use before they go on the run Way, and that is to use vinegar as a toner however I'm going to put a little disclaimer out there if you do have acne or any cuts like that it is gonna feel a little bit like it does burn when I applied it it was I had some acne on my skin so it did burn a little bit nothing too much or anything like that but I do like to do it once in a while because I just find it really cleans up my skin um, but I do suggest if you have super sensitive skin I wouldn't really suggest this one or I would want to test it out don't just do your whole face right at once um, right away this is something that I definitely will stress to you guys is even when it comes to things that you're going to buy from the drugstore or Sephora or something like that when it comes to your skincare, definitely do a test run before you put it all over your face because you don't know what's going to react with different people. Adding a toner into your skincare routine is really important and I really like to do this one in particular with the vinegar. Or if you don't have vinegar, you can also use 
apple cider vinegar, just a little FYI or a little side note there. <laughs> Next is one of my favorites, and this is a blackhead remover, but it's a DIY blackhead remover. So all you're gonna do is take some baking soda, take some toothpaste and water, and you're gonna mix it all together into a little bowl. I suggest having the white toothpaste as opposed to blue or anything like that, just a little FYI. And as well as you're going to apply it onto your nose. Once you have the little mixture, you're gonna take a warm cloth and just pat your nose down with the warm cloth. Then you're going to apply it with an old toothbrush or apply it with a toothbrush that you don't use on your teeth because that would be a little bit gross. And you're just gonna apply it on, you're gonna let it dry and then you're gonna rinse it off. And I did feel a little bit of a cooling sensation, but I really do like this. I think it works so well and um, it's super easy and you could probably find it in your kitchen instead of buying those pore strips or things like that. So I definitely just suggest this, but don't do this all the time, just like you're not supposed to use pore strips all the time, but this is supposed to get rid of your blackheads. Next, something that's super important and I feel like a lot of us girls can be guilty of not doing is brushing our, brushing our, no. No, not brushing. Washing our makeup brushes is super important and I feel like a lot of us don't do it as much as we should. So I actually have a little DIY brush cleaner that works so well when it comes to things like beauty blenders or makeup sponges and stuff like that because I usually wash it with baby shampoo but I still find like there's leftover on it. So I have a little thing for you. If you just use dish detergent plus coconut oil and you mix that together and rub your beauty blender with it, it's gonna make it spot clean. So it's gonna make it look like it's brand new. So I definitely suggest doing that if your beauty blenders or your makeup sponges look a little dingy and you just you need to pick me up definitely go try dish detergent and coconut oil and this brings me to my last hack and this is gonna be the most weird and abnormal hack I would say when it comes to skincare but it actually research has shown that this does really do wonders to your skin and that is just get into a downward dog yoga position hold it for about three to five minutes and this is said to be super good for your skin because it can boost those circulation when you're in that position and it's gonna give you that glowy skin that we all want that youthful glowy Victoria's Secret model skin oh which I've done a beauty hacks on Victoria's Secret models so if you're curious go check it out I have it in the description box for you guys that is all for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give that big thumbs up if you liked it click that subscribe button down below to join the Nicolette's fam gym because your girl uploads every other day here on my channel and we are so close to 300,000 Nicolette so make sure you guys Go subscribe, share it to your friends, get it out there. Can we make this family grow to 300,000 neglects? And hello to anyone that's new because I've been seeing a ton of you joining and I love you guys and I love my OG neglects as well because you guys are seriously the best. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye! <coughs> no. Bye! <laughs> I feel like I'm a boy going through puberty. My voice keeps cracking. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>